Turning our attention now to the ASX, here's Matt Burney and Bulls and Bears with the latest public company views and interviews. Welcome to Bulls and Bears, brought to you today by battery metals company Neo Metals Limited, ASX code NMT. I'm Matt Burney and I'm joined now by the Managing Director of Neo Metals, Chris Reed. Hi Chris. G'day Matt. After founding and eventually selling out of the successful Mount Marion lithium mine near Cambelder in WA, Neo Metals turned to recycling spent lithium batteries with a view to harvesting the cocktail of minerals that are used to make them. The company also owns the massive Barambi vanadium titanium deposit in WA's Midwest and it's also developing vanadium recovery technologies. Chris, you recently pushed the go button on a decision to build a commercial scale lithium battery recycling operation in Germany that Neo Metals will own half of. Who will own the other half and why? Our partner in what is called our Primobius joint venture is German engineering company SMS. SMS are a 150 year old company, 14 and a half thousand employees in 85 sites around the world. They are one of the largest plant builders in Europe and we're very proud to have them as a partner. What minerals are you ultimately looking to churn out from this battery recycling plant? Is it just lithium or are there others? Oh no, so if you're putting in consumer electronics which are lithium cobaltate, lithium and cobalt are the main product, we're looking at the EV batteries they're increasingly more nickeliferous so primary products are nickel cobalt, lithium. They cover about 85% of the recovered value. How much will it cost you to build this plant and how long have you modelled it up for in terms of the initial life of it? Currently we are commissioning a demonstration plant. We've successfully commissioned the front end of that and off the back of that and the incredible demand that we're seeing from the European cell makers and car makers, we've made a decision to scale that up from one tonne a day to 10 tonnes a day and to offer a recycling service from the March quarter of 2022. Our current evaluation is actually to build a 50 tonne a day plant or about 20,000 tonnes per annum. The numbers to build the 50 tonnes a day or 20,000 tonnes per annum is about 165 million US dollars. Where will you get the dead batteries from and who will you ultimately sell the recycled minerals to? Have you got any colour around that yet? Yes, we designed the 50 tonne a day plant to take the off-spec material that comes out of one of these gigafactories and there's a massive amount of gigafactories being built in Europe at the moment. Europe is the second largest lithium production hub outside of China this decade. And so, you know, who will supply it? So you've got off-spec production scrap from the cell makers and what we're seeing is more end-of-life batteries coming back from the car makers so you know and there's recalls and these guys are just learning to make EVs and there will be recalls so you know there is an increasing amount of -of end-of-life batteries that are making their way back into the supply. Chris Reed from Neo Metals thanks for joining me on Bulls and Bears today and remember we're only here to give you information not advice which you should of course seek independently. I'm Matt Burney and this is Bulls and Bears. For more public company CEO interviews, go to the Money page on the 6PR, 2GB and 3AW websites and click the Public Companies tab.